It's the matchup everyone's been talking about. Number one against number two in the NAIA. Down in short, second back through, gets it, and there's some running room in the fumble. The ball is loose, and St. Francis has got it at the Cougar, St. Francis Cougar 42-yard line. Coming up with that loose ball, let's check it for St. Francis as they come up with it. It's the first big turnover of the ball game as the play clock is down the three, down the two. They get the playoff. Here's a run to the left side by Bozier, trying to set his feet, gets by one, comes back near side, throws the ball, and it's caught inside the 45 at the 43-yard line. A great job by Aaron Knight, and that time Bozier brought time nicely and fired a strike. First and 10, Bozier checking the SXU defense. They stay at home. Here's the reverse coming up, and it's Austin Coleman. Comes at the 40, 35, 30 in the middle of the field, and uh, holds onto the ball inside the 25. Did he hold on? Big scramble for it, SXU, uh, do they have the ball back? We'll wait for the officials to rule. Well, St. X is saying they got the football. And so the officials, I think, agree, or do nope, they? Nope, 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 that's Cougar ball, uh, and, and that's USF Cougar ball, which uh, they're gonna rule it, Coleman was down. Here's the snap, right-footed kick, and it's long enough, and it is good, 3-0. St. Francis at the 536 mark on the board and leading number one ranked St. Xavier. Going on third and short, Pisek running right side. He won't get there as he has stopped at the 35 and driven back. And St. Francis brings up a lost yardage situation. It'll be fourth down and four coming up. Right. Coy with the snap, looks, looks, steps up the pocket, throws left side, he's got a man down there, knocked away at the last second, great defense that time, as coming across and making that play, Eric Humphrey, <laughs> second down, to let, thanks Megan, here we go, here's Bozier, short drop, looks left, screens the ball, Wolf's got it, trying to make a move, cuts to the sideline, and knocked out of bounds at the 42 yard line, Jeremy Rhodes is back in punt return, waits at the SXU 10. Here's the snap and the kick wobbly, and uh, Rhodes comes up, lets it go. It takes a high bounce, and it will be down short of the goal line. Scramble for it. That's a loose ball. Let's see how they're going to rule it. St. Francis came up with it, it's and a that's touchdown. a touchdown. Wow, what a play. Let's see who got it for St. Francis. as SXU inexplicably diving for that ball. It was not a free ball until it was touched by SXU. Bozier long count again, play clock at three. They'll run the ball with, no, it's a play action fake. And here's a catch by Kobe Fry to the 20-25. And the 30-yard line stumbles across the 35-yard line all the way up to the 37-yard line. Great job of selling that play that time by Bozier in the backfield. Individual play. Now they'll run the ball with Wolf. He's got a little bit of running room off the right side tackle. Did he lose the football? And SXU's got it at the St. Francis 46. The 20-yarder by Emerson Eber. A lot of misdirection now, and here's a run and on a sweep. They handed the ball off to West Gaskell, and he'll do well to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. From 27 yards out, Lynch trying to get SXU, and boy, he just booms it. That'll be uh, high into the nets, and it's good. So SXU gets points on the board, along with Frank Wolf in kick return for USF. About to get the ball back once again. Here's a long kick down the middle. And Coleman tracking it into the end zone. Two yards deep. He'll bring it out to the five. Ten-yard line, right side, 15, 20. Down the sideline, still on his feet. Cuts back to the 30, 35. Gets by another. Still on his feet with a blocker up ahead. 40, 45, 50. Midfield directing traffic at the 39. Reverses. Gets by another man. Cuts it up. Spins off a tackle. Back inside the 35. What a job by Austin Coleman as he returns it some 65 yards out of the end zone. Boy, that kind of reminds you of the days of Daniel Carter out there with all the different changes of directions and a couple of spin thrown in here and there. And, you know, Coleman Joe ran so far on that play. And he's got to come off the yeah, field. Yeah, he's looking for oxygen right now, pal. I'll tell you what, he looked like he maybe ran out of gas just a little bit down here after he had probably run a good 150 yards on that. Here's the run by Wolf up the middle, dragging, bumbled the ball, now throw it in their side. Well, it's coming, he screens the ball, and Frank Wolf is off, looks over the middle, throwing down and no chance. Motion right to left as Coy, play action pass, steps up and is, steps out of the tackle and is dropped at the 41. St. Francis had two on him and nearly allowed him to get away, but Rex Revenstein said, hold on, I'm holding on for dear life. Waiting for the snap, low snap, got the kick away. If it's long enough, certainly, is it accurate? It is good. 
50-yard field goal. Nolan approaching. Spencer Nolan kicks it away near side. That's Frank Wolf backed up inside the uh, five to the two yard line, returns near side 10, 15, 20, 25, cuts back middle of the field and just dives ahead for what he can get along the boundary. And uh, wherever he went airborne, somewhere around the 40 yard line. First and 10, 98 seconds remaining though. And here is Bozier, he rolls to the right side, looking to pass, sets his feet, throws it down. Got a wide open receiver, and that's caught. Bryce you Thornton's got a chance, cuts back the left side, inside the 10, to the five, and a touchdown. 60 yards on the touchdown pass. Bozier playing a wide open Bryce Thornton. Well, Bryce Thornton, somebody missed the coverage on him, and there was no safety in home on that play either because 35, 40 yards down the field is where the ball was delivered by Justin Bozier. Guys, real quick on the long touchdown pass, that was a double move. They had two guys flooding the zone. They saved that play for the end of the for the end of the uh, half when they needed a big play, and that's exactly Coy. the way it worked. Coy with a running back, Pisek in motion, comes to the right side. Coy drops the throw, looking. Now steps up, plants his feet, looking down the middle. He's got Zachary down there. Easy catch as two Cougar defenders fell down. That will be a 43-yard touchdown, so we've had big ones. Bozier ready to take the snap. Blitz is coming defensively up the middle. Here's Bozier, sets the feet, fires the net, picked off. At the 48-yard line, a return to the 35-yard line, and again, Problems for St. Francis in the offense. Okay, a huge momentum shift there, Joe. And with 28 seconds left on the clock, we saw a 50-yard field goal just a, just a, seemed like about a minute and a half ago. St. Francis trying to get a little pressure up the middle if they can. Low snap, and he got it away again. It's long enough on the way, and it is good. So 48 yards, field goal, 17-16 St. Francis. Here comes the kickoff left to right now, and it's a low line drive squib kick. It'll filter through all the way to the 15-yard line to Coleman. And Austin Coleman uh, lost the football again, but time has run out in the first half. A big play for each team, and some turnovers are the key. What do we got to do in the second half to, to pull this one out? Well, we got to continue to do what we've been doing on defense. We're playing hard. Um, we have guys running each, each other on their touchdown pass. I think we just got to keep up defensively. Got to get to the quarterback and get some sacks. Got to take care of the football on offense. Got to make some plays. Got Coleman uh, just hurt his uh, shoulder on this uh, last play of the half. Hopefully we can get him uh, back in there some. Okay, Coach, good luck on the second half. One touchdown, one sack. And here we go, and it's onside. A ball popped up, and there was interference, kick interference. Let's see if they call it downfield. They're going to give the SXU the ball. The official said it went 10 yards. They recovered the football. Back to you. Amy Hall, it's Coy with the ball, screens left side, big hole as Pisek runs through a tackle and uh, picks up nine yards at the St. Francis 47 yard line. Gain of uh, four, second down and six. Blitz is coming, has the throw to the right side, and that's going to be an easy catch for the touchdown. As it's uh, on the money, Corey Winnemacher, and for the first time today, St. X is on top here on the road at 22 17. Had to know that one was coming, though. Long end over end, Coleman backpedaling to the one. Works out to the five, works 10 yard line, 15. Trying to cut back, he's across the 25, 30. To the right side, one man to beat at the 50, 40. They're not gonna catch him. And Austin Coleman will go some 98 yards and it'll be St. Francis into a tie and back to a lead pending the extra point conversion. Well, second special teams touchdown of the day and uh, Dave Ivy, Coach Dave Ivy, obviously a, a clairvoyant savant this morning when he said he thought that they, we could run one back because we've had great returns today against this uh, St. X return special team, and now we've got the big touchdown out of Coleman. Fourth down and less than a yard, and here is Coy wanting to throw. He's got a man wide open and a catch, and it'll be first down for the SXU Cougar. Yeah, Pisek so in motion again from right to left. Coy looks that way wide open. There's the grab by Pisek, cuts inside the 15 to the 10 and down to the five. And St. Francis just playing way, way off. Gastel inside, they'll run the ball and here's Pisek stoned at inside the three, fell forward maybe to the two. So it'll be third and goal now. Empty backfield now, three wide to the right. To the left, Coy runs the draw, runs into traffic, did not get in or bring up fourth down. So Lynch is not out there. They're going to go up the. They're going to try for the touchdown. Fourth and goal from the one. Here's a runoff tackle. An easy run by Pisek. Just broke it off left side. Nobody laid a glove on him. 
And uh, waiting for the snap. Here's Bozier wanting to throw near side. That's on the money. That is a great throw. And there's a penalty flag thrown at the 45 on the far Bozier side of the side. field. Bozier takes the snap. Looking, throws near side. Intercepted again. That time, Marciano right in his hands. Brings it to the 35 of St. Francis. And trouble once again is Dave Marciano. That went right into his hands. Well, let's see if he tries for the quick deep strike again. The snap is a little bit to his right. He's got control of the time in the middle. Throws in an easy grab inside the 25 and down out of bounds inside the 10 goes Wes Gastel. Here's Coy again. He's got Pisak in. He'll hand the ball to him and he's nailed in the backfield for a loss as Solomon Grimes, I think it was, came pouring through there and that was a timely stop for St. Francis needing any kind of inspirational lift from their defense. Three previous, including a 50-yarder and this is just a chip shot for him. Okay, now. Hold the cola in your mouth while I drop oh. in the mental. Picked off PHP again. is also a not-for-profit health insurance provider, so our focus is you, not just our bottom line. But Looking for his fifth field goal of the day. Quick release, got the plenty of elevation and lift to it on the way and good. A long time in the second half. Blitz coming by Grimes up the middle. Here's Coy, they've got him, and they sack him back around the 30-yard line. Coy shot by number 33, Solomon Grimes. Solomon Grimes, we just mentioned, and maybe that's one of the adjustments Warren Maloney was making, and Phil, you just talked about it. They need a spark defensively, and Grimes gave it that time. Hopefully down the line. Joe Rizzi comes on, and here's a screen pass, comes right side as they look and run across them. Boy, a big hit at the 35-yard line. And Coy with Pisek back there, play action fake. They want to throw, screen the ball. Pisek's got it, being pursued, and gets away from one, but nailed at the 35-yard line, and that was a big play by Matt Smith, who, big fella, at 263, chased down Pisek and dropped him. It'll be fourth down and long. That explosive power today in a game like this. Bozier in trouble. Flush to his right side, looking to throw. Will he run? He's got a man that's Knight at the 40. He's got some running room to midfield. Stumbles to the 45. And boy, there was a twisting uh, tackle to the head. St. Francis now goes. Hurry up, no huddle offense. First and 10 at the 45. Movement defensively now. Bozier backs away and checks off. Play clock still at 14. He's got time. Two wide left. Might have changed the play at the line of scrimmage with the audible. Bustamani up in the slot. Here's Bozier. Looks, throws. That's a tough pass. He got a, the catch made against double coverage there. Bozier trying to come up. He needs three yards on this third down call. Fry in motion right to left. Here's Bozier with a rush coming. Look, steps up and floats it. That's picked off again. Bad decision. 40, 45, 50. And they've got a chance to take it to the house as it'll be out of bounds near side to the St. Francis 20-yard line. That ball picked, picked off by Jacob Ganazzi is that pick number four today. Third down and six. Here's Coy looking far side, throws to the corner. He's got a man out there and an easy over the shoulder catch. Touchdown, it'll be six yards. Red basket dropped into the hands of Wes Gastel at the 641 mark. And he'll take the ball right side and throws the ball. There's a catch by Thornton, and he tiptoes his way down the right sidelines. Where did he step out? Across the 40, up to the 43. It will be a first down for St. Francis. So Bozier uh, makes the good throw, and they pick up the first down. Improving field position, throws back same plate, same result. Knight tripped up, but he'll have a seven yard. And Bozier trying to make a good throw, needs 13 yards. They run the draw, and there's Wolf, steps out one tackle and left the football on the field, but it's recovered. St. Francis has got it at the 40. Doesn't need a lot, but he needs a completion right now. He'll roll to the right side, taking a look. And looking, throws the ball, and that was into traffic. Held on, though. A good play by Armando Bustamante. He's got the first down at about the 32. He had a defender wrapped around him. Fourth down in 10 with 428 remaining. Bozier about ready to take the snap. The blitz is coming. He throws the ball, and here's a nice catch made in the middle of the field and running after the catch inside the 15 to the 10, and the ball is popped free. It's down on contact at the 1, and Bryce Thornton was that close either to scoring or giving up the football. You take your pick at the end of the first half, so it can happen, but they need to score here. Here's a bootleg run, and Bozier will dive into the end zone for the one-yard touchdown. Well, there's a first for everything, and to see Justin and Bozier run with the football. That's a, that's a great call. I mean, it's almost the last thing you expect to see. Left, trying to chop that ball. Did it go 10 yards? Takes a high bounce. That's a free ball, and running up to field it, St. X will have it somewhere around the 35-yard line of St. Francis. 
And now you look ahead because you wonder how far in the polls you're going to fall in this battle between number two and number one, being the game is played here in Fort Wayne. And then uh, with the game big battle in a couple of weeks against Marion, you've got to fight your way back somehow and, and, and try to get back in the, you know, a position where in theory you could uh, host a uh, national semifinals game if it comes to it. But we're a long, long way from that. And uh, after a day today that saw St. Francis look in position to upset the number one ranked team in the country, led by 11 points, but in the end, they'll fall here at home by a final score of 42 to 31. Art Mantle